So welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series for security analyst and SOC analyst. Okay. So I'm the candidate and Jemin is the interviewer for this uh, series. And um, before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified, you get updated with the new videos. And if you are an existing subscriber, make sure you press the bell icon. Okay. This help us to boost our confidence a lot. Okay. So without taking much time, let's get started. Hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Ratish. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. So, Rajnish, uh, today my questions are on Docker. Okay. Can you tell me something about the Docker container? Okay. So, uh, Docker container is kind of a standalone uh, packages or a software that includes everything that we require to run any application. That, that uh, it consists of uh, code, runtime, system tools, all the libraries and the settings. Uh, if you see, it is very similar to the virtual machine, what we what we used to have with the virtual machine running on the hypervisor like VMware or uh, you know Hyper-V. But what happened is, if, you, if, if we look at the virtual machines, every time we need to create a new kind of a server, we have to deploy a new virtual machine. That consists of operate underlying operating system with the libraries, packages, and everything. So it takes extra space, and we have to install it again and again. Whereas Docker can create a, a single, you know, Docker would require will actually allow multiple application to use a common libraries, system tools, and everything, so that we don't really have to, you know, uh, take multiple resources underlying resources so they the, docker basically allows to share kernel and system resources with the other kernel and but just like vmware it runs in the isolated environment in the host operating system and uh, when we talk about the containers so when each and every each and every uh, i would say each and every package, let's say we have an CRM application, we have an HR, HRMS application. So these are images, okay? So each individual modules are like uh, images, just like virtual machines. Once they are active, once they are running, uh, actively running, they are called as container. So uh, containers are, uh, you know, they are basically an application that runs on any platform, irrespective of the infrastructure that is being used beneath. Okay. Uh, technically, they are just a runtime instance of Docker images. So yeah, that that's Docker containers. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. So does this uh, can you tell me a Docker command which lists the status of all Docker containers? Perfect. Yes. So. Um, usually to view all the images, we type Docker images. And uh, once we activate, once we start any, any, once we run any images, that becomes container. And to see, to view the uh, containers, we can run Docker PS. This will list down all the uh, containers, running containers. Or we can use Docker PS minus A hyphen A as well to view all the active containers. Okay, perfect. Can you explain then the uh, Docker Compose? Oh yeah, perfect. So Docker Compose is a, is a very interesting, and this is being used by many of the uh, many of the professional as well. I personally use it a lot for building, you know, some home labs. So it's it's create it's a kind of infrastructure as a code. So you can actually set up everything using just a code. You can define what all all uh, Docker images you want to turn up with their services, network, volumes, and everything just with images. So you create basically a kind of a playbook in the uh, in, in a Docker Compose file, and this is written in the YAML format. And you define what all services you require, what all images, network, uh, you know, volumes you require uh, for setting up the Docker-based application, and uh, and it will turn up. So the moment you uh, launch the Docker Compose, you don't really have to manually turn up all the images. Now, whatever images has been mentioned in that YAML script, all will be turned up. 
so it's used to docker the purpose of docker compose is to create multiple containers at once so the moment we activate or we turn up the docker compose file maybe let's say we have 15 20 30 images in, inside all will be turned up so you don't have to manually go and one by one turn up all the images you can also host them establish a communication between them using a specific port and this all can be defined on pre uh, prior to prior you set up the you know you turn up the machines so that that's docker container yeah okay so then does this tell me something about docker namespace well a docker namespace uh, it's a it's basically a linux feature linux kernel feature that provides a kind of isolation of different set of resources such as maybe processes file systems uh, network interfaces from another namespace okay docker uses this namespace to create as isolated environment for every container so each container has its own set of namespace which means that processes running in one container we cannot see or access the resources of another container so it's basically for isolation purpose and there are multiple types of namespace that docker uses oh, um, there we have pid uh, namespace which is for process id isolation uh, we have uts namespace for host host name and domain name we also have a uh, network namespace, which is for isolating the network interfaces and IP addresses. Uh, we also have mount namespace, which is to view the file system. Uh, we also have few more like uh, user namespace and IPC namespace, which is, uh, you know, message queuing options, or uh, user or group ID options as well. So these are the Docker namespace. So, yeah. So, Rajnish. Yeah, this is all about the questions on Docker. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much, everyone. Now this is the time to give you some demo. Um, yeah. So let me share my screen. I have a server. I have a server. Uh, this is a this is an Ubuntu server. You can verify by your name. This is an Ubuntu server of version. 20 yeah so 22.04 ubuntu server perfect and i'm running a docker on it so you can verify when you type docker you can see all of them help command okay and once you have installed it of course to install docker you can type docker inst ins apt install docker dot io and the docker package is will be installed now once you install the docker just like uh, just like in the in the case of virtual machines right you install your virtual machines and you don't activate them for example i'll show you something i have i have these many uh, vir virtual machines currently right these are all my virtual machines but currently they are powered off right these are powered off so these will be in the ubuntu in in case of ubuntu it is equivalent to images the moment i turn it on the moment i click on power on it becomes my uh, in my case in virtual machines it becomes my virtual machines or guest operating system you could say but in case of uh, docker it will become containers so i can see doc i can type docker images in here and you can see i have two images okay and this is its image id and this is another image id okay at the moment uh, if i turn it up i can run docker run and you know image id and this instance will be turned up and this will become container and i can I can see those containers by running docker ps. Currently, I don't have any containers because I didn't turn it on. Okay. So that's that's what the docker is. Uh, I haven't installed docker uh, compose in the system, but uh, to install docker compose, it usually comes in, uh, you know, uh, when you install docker ce. And uh, you can then also utilize Docker Compose file as well. All right. So, all right. So there is a website called uh, Docker Hub. So 
if you want to get hands on with multiple images and try and test it you can search for any image let's say for security or maybe for some hacking docker images and you can see alpine uh, there are multiple images available that you can see for example this is from hacking lab if you want to install this image so you just have to type a command docker pull and this one right so you can just copy this command just like git uh, git clone command this also works similar way you can type uh, git pull a uh, docker sorry docker pull and the name of the image the moment you hit enter the image will be installed and you can see it now can you see this the image is getting downloaded on a machine. Now, if you do Docker images, you can see the image now. Can you see this? Perfect. And once you uh, run a command Docker run and make it live, uh, you can see that image uh, in Docker PS as well. So currently, so currently uh, because I didn't activate so I don't see it, but if you run, if you use the Docker run, the image, your image will become container. All right. So I hope this was useful. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much.